What is up, bros and broettes? I'm Slasher 44 and today we're going to be talking about how good is the stock attachment in Black Ops 3. And this is one I only recently started using, because when this game came out, it was said that the stock was not supposed to be like it was in other games, not as good, it was nerfed. And uh, I have some interesting, very, very interesting information for you guys, and uh, some news that the stock is actually really, really good, and especially on some certain guns that we're going to talk about. Now, I only recently started using this, and... I have already seen an improvement in my kill death in games. Every game I use a stock on certain weapons, like I said we're going to talk about, it really, really improves you in game. Now the reason stock works, it doesn't help you aim down sights faster, it doesn't help you lock on target faster, it kind of can, but it doesn't do anything fancy like that. All a stock attachment does is movement speed when aiming down sights and firing, because in this game the way it works is your movement speed is actually two different things when aiming down sights and aiming down sights and firing your weapon you actually move slower while firing your weapon with every weapon in the game but with stock it actually changes a little bit and we're going to discuss this so the way this works is it's different for every single class of weapon so assault rifles smg shotgun snipers and lmgs or heavy weapons all have different um basically movement speeds while aiming down sights and this also changes because it's a percent game when using the stock attachment. So, the first thing we're going to talk about in, is assault rifles. Now, in older Call of Duty games, assault rifles were the weapons to use stock with because you could strafe and outkill people with skill because you could move so quickly with stock on. So, in this game, when you're aiming down sights, you with an assault rifle, you move at 40% speed. With a stock, you move at 68% speed. While firing, you move at 36% speed. While firing with stock, you move at 57% speed. So what does this mean? It improves vastly while not only aiming down sights, but aiming down sights and firing your weapon. Now, this is alright. This you're moving at about 60% of the speed while aiming down sights with the stock on compared to about 40. That's the way to look at it with assault rifles. So, it's about 20% better with assault rifles, which is very good. It's still good. And definitely if you're one of those players that like to play with lots of attachments on your gun, this is one you'll definitely want to be using. Now, that being said, you do have to get used to it because normally you're used to slowing down a shit ton when you aim down sights with your weapon. When using the stock, it's not quite like that. And it does take a couple games to get used to. Up next is LMGs, and LMGs are a little bit different because this doesn't change based on the class of weapon, it actually just completely changes based on the weapon. But I'm going to give you some general stats here. So for LMGs, when aiming down sights, it's just like assault rifles, you move at 40% speed, with stock up to 68 While firing, you move at 16% speed, with stock goes up to 24 So it's a little bit worse on LMGs just because you move a little bit slower while firing, but fair enough, you have more uh, bullets in a magazine, so it's only fair that they do something like that so a little bit worse with lmgs than ars next up snipers snipers you move again at 40 percent speed while aiming down sights with stock you're looking at 60 percent movement speed while firing you move at zero percent speed now that, that's kind of a scapegoat because most of the weapons that are snipers in this game are bolt action which means for that brief second that you hit that fire button you kind of just stop moving for a brief second but in, when you're using a stock attachment you can keep moving at 48 percent speed while firing so what this means is when you hit that fire button your body can still be moving this actually hinders you when trying to aim with a sniper i don't suggest using a stock attachment while sniping it's very very difficult to get used to some people may be good with it but it's very very difficult because like i said you still move while firing that bullet and the basic idea of a quick scoper is to temporary temporarily stop moving while firing that bullet to be super super accurate and then keep moving really quick that's how quick scopers work their magic so if you're moving while firing that bullet it's going to throw off your aim and make it a lot harder for you to snipe and then we get into where things are absolutely awesome and this is this is the best part about the stock attachment when we look at something like the smg so normally the movement speed with the smg while aiming down sights is 80 percent speed which is good but with the stock attachment, you move at 104% speed. You move faster than you normally move while aiming down sights. Now, you don't move at sprinting speed, but faster than your normal move speed, so your normal strafe speed, you move at 104%. When firing, normally you move at 76%. With stock, you move at 99%. So you almost move as fast while firing 
as you do while not firing. That's absolutely insane and is more than a 20% increase. With a shotgun, same kind of thing. When you are not firing, you move at 80% speed, and with stock, it's 104% speed. While firing, normally you move at 36% speed. With stock, again, up to 104% speed. So always with a shotgun, while aiming down sights with a stock, no matter whether you are firing or not, you are going to be moving at 104% speed. So, the weapons to use the stock attachment on are any SMGs and any shotguns. This was the opposite in old Call of Duty games. You wanted to be moving fast with the assault rifles, with the LMGs, because you normally move slow with them. It does improve in this game. It does make it better with LMGs and ARs. It does, don't get me wrong. But with the SMGs, with the shotguns, you can rush so much better when using a stock on these guns that it literally lets you move faster than you normally can while using the stock, which is absolutely amazing. And you'll notice it right away. Now, like I said earlier, using these on your shotguns and on your uh, SMGs, it does take a little bit to get used to because as soon as you start aiming down sights, you actually move faster than you were moving before you aim down sights. And normally it decreases your speed. So it's a little easier to aim. This one, you aim down sights and you start moving quicker. And that takes a little bit to get used to, but it improves you so much. It makes it the easiest if you're applying a team full of players playing with smgs throw on your smg with a stock and you will outgun them every single time it is so good i promise you it's definitely something you should try out so overall rating this attachment i would give it like a b minus on every gun and then on smgs and shotguns it's an a minus it's a very very good attachment and one you should definitely consider using so if you guys found this video informative and enjoyed it a like rating would be fan freaking tastic and really really help out my channel so if you enjoyed the video hit that like button check me out on twitter link in the description if you find me interesting you want to know more about my life twitter is the place to do so link down there and subscribe for new call of duty videos every single day thanks for watching guys and until next time peace out